Hi, my name is Jason Spencer. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jason Spencer, aka. Oh, that sounds dumb. Hi, my name is Jason Spencer, or Killer Napkins. I draw a lot of weird stuff. Uh, Killer Napkins. That name came about in a weird way, I guess, when I was like probably 15 or 16. That was like my first AOL instant messenger screen name. There's no rhyme or reason why. It was just one of those names that didn't have to have numbers behind it. Oh yeah, I guess yeah, back in high school is when I kind of first started taking all the art classes I could. Just kind of like making stuff. I always drew monsters and stuff like that. And that's how I got into the hell scary shit now. Probably tell people, someone who hasn't like seen it before, probably just say there's a lot of tits. A lot of dicks it gets weird the studio I guess we've been here for about two months now um, I'm not even fully moved in yet but um, you know watching other people make stuff is pretty awesome it kind of drives you to like say hey I'm gonna build build some today I'm gonna draw some crazy beast on this panel right here you know every time we do a big installation the collaboration you know you learn a little bit more about what works and we've done about like five major wall drawings We'll go into these gallery spaces, cover the entire walls with uh, wood paneling, and then just be in there for like two weeks straight. And we'll be painting, overlapping on each other, vibing off like what other people do. They can go in there one day, and the next day it could be totally different. We used to just like build upon each other with layers and layers, but sometimes we'll just do stuff and like leave it alone for like the entire time, you know? We had like four big boxes and then one of the artists, Chris Birch, thought it'd be cool to like install a whole bunch of found wood materials. We had like tons of just random stuff we were picking up out of dumpsters and rehab houses and stuff like that. It changes every time, you know, but it feels like it's getting more comfortable to work with these guys. Not allowed to like bite each other's heads off or paint over other stuff. I like to build things with wood. Uh, I mean, my day job is building basements. I see other people at work and they've been doing it for several years and they're looking a little wore down. I don't want to do that when I'm like 40 falling apart. I would like to be able to eventually come to a point where I do nothing but wake up every day and go to the studio and paint. I think that's like what all artists really eventually want to happen, you know? It's a process and I'm not expecting overnight results on anything. But And it's also about, you know, growing the balls to like quit your day job and just plunge into full-time art. I guess typically whenever you know, I'm working on something. I try to think about stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, you know, it's a hard thing. Everyone, everything's been done already, you know. But um, I hope to, you know, the viewer goes, oh, that's interesting or weird or sparking that kind of um, reaction is usually something I look for. But, you know, sometimes I don't, I try not to think about the viewer because then I get too wrapped up. I try to stay away from pop culture too sometimes because I feel like that's really big right now. It's very sellable, but I like Bill Murray, but I don't want to see like Ghostbusters references like nonstop. Uh, I've never really like thought of myself as a St. Louis artist. I don't draw arches and stuff like that. So I feel like sometimes I just don't think of the city because I'm always online anyway and see people all over the world. I like talk to you, you know. I mean, St. Louis art is definitely, I guess, unique. There's a lot of art culture here, though, you know. I don't associate myself with, I guess, label like that. But. I guess I follow, I follow a lot of artists on, um, you know, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram. So I try to keep a steady, constant flow of various artists because that also inspires me. But, uh, you know, I could say, like, seeing a lot of work from Skinner and like Alex Pardee, you know, seeing these guys that create stuff every single day. Jason Freeney, he's been like doing something every single day, he's posting something. That actually is really inspiring to see. If I had some tips to give to an aspiring artist, I would just tell them to keep drawing every single day. Surround yourself by other people doing the same thing, you know. That's probably what drives me the most is seeing other people make stuff every day, you know. I look online, follow these artists, and I see them post something new, I'm like, Dude, I need to step my game up, you know? You gotta keep going, you know? Instead of like sulking in like a piece that's been done. You know, once it's done, it's done. I try to, you know, just focus on the next one then, you know?